All right, so let's um let's do react to the uh, Mel Kiper Jr. Ty McShay 2023 NFL mock draft. Uh, number one, Carolina Panthers. They got uh, Bryce Young going number one. That's a good pick. He, he's probably the best quarterback on the draft. Just overall, he can move in the pocket. Good arm, not the, not a great arm, but accuracy. He's smart. He should be smart. He's in Alabama. Last three years, uh, Heisman Trophy winner, running the NFL offense for two years under Bill O'Brien. So, yeah. Uh, number two, they got Houston Texans taking a uh, quarterback, Ohio State, CJ Stroud, a little bigger, better arm. He's been playing with a lot of talent. So, yeah, I mean, the right system, you put some receivers around him, I think he'd be good. I don't know what kind of receivers they got in Houston right now, but. They're going to need some work on that offense to get it going. They got a defensive head coach, so they might go defense. Um, <clears throat> number three, they got the Arizona Cardinals taking linebacker Will Anderson Jr. from Alabama. Uh, man, I don't know. You, they, um, Will Anderson, sometimes I, I just don't. He's only like 250 pounds. Just being an edge rusher, is he good to get enough? Is he good enough? Good enough against the run. What way Alabama played like Alabama? They treated him like he was a defense alignment, but just pure pass rushing. We'll see, but that might be too high, I think. And number four, they got the Colts taking Anthony Richardson, which definitely is too high. I mean, I watched him play a couple of games, so like that. That dude don't play no NFL quarterback to me. Just some big kick. Just some big. Some big, fast kid with a strong arm. Like, put him at quarterback, man. They're going to teach this kid how to play quarterback, man. But number four, that's that's way too high. He a project, basically. <clears throat> number five, they got Seattle. Taking Jalen Carter, who, you know, could have been his number one pick. Had some off-the-field stuff. Was out of shape at his pro day. But probably the best defensive player in the draft. He going number five. Number six, they got Detroit taking D.N. Tyrese Wilson. A great athlete, great body, tall kid. You know, Detroit, you know, this, this they, they have a good draft, man. They setting their souls up to have a good year. Number seven, they got the Raiders taking Devon Witherspoon, cornerback. That's a good solid pick for them. They probably need more than a corner. I don't know if I would do that at the top ten. If he, that, it's a deep draft for corners. You got to be really better than the rest of them. Take them, take one at seven, and not move back and get someone just as good. Same thing at number eight with Atlanta. They got him taking uh, Christopher Christian Gonzalez, cornerback. Yeah, that's high. But Atlanta, they got a lot of needs. Uh, number nine, they got the Bears taking the. Uh, uh, the, the offensive tackle, I can't say that's St. Peter from Northwestern. Yeah. It helps, it helps take Justin Fields. Shalowski. Peter Shalowski. <laughs> uh, 10, they got the Eagles taking B.J. Robinson. Uh, I mean, Eagles, that's a luxury pick. They could, take, they could do whatever they want. They were just in the Super Bowl. They obviously can run the ball. The only thing is, if you want to take a, a running back that high, you got to give him a ball, man. It can't be no no running back cop by committee. You can't have all these other guys getting carries and do they throw him the ball. Like, the whole purpose of uh, the uniqueness of a guy like B. John Robinson, his ability to catch the ball. Are they going to throw him the ball? If you're catching 40 balls a year and, you know, and the other dudes they got is getting carries, what's the purpose of drafting running back in the top 10? I mean, you, you know, you're setting yourself up. Uh, 11, they got Tennessee taking Will Levis from Kentucky, quarterback. Real talented, can run, a strong arm. You know, but, you know, I don't know. The talent is there, just got to get the right coaching. I don't know if you can get that in Tennessee. But 12, they got Houston again going Texas Smith and Jigbu. And Jigba, <laughs> wide receiver. Pretty much didn't play all year for whatever reason, injuries, didn't want to, whatever. But the talent is there. He's the number one receiver off the board. 13, they got the Jets taking Broderick Jones, offensive tackle. 
I mean, <clears throat> they had both their titles get hurt last year. So, so yeah, they got Detroit 13. I mean, the Jets at 13. Derrick Jones, Broderick Jones. They got the Patriots at 14, taking Paris Johnson Jr., offensive tackle. You know, they need offensive help. I think they need some skill positions, some receivers, some speed on that team. But that's Belichick. 15, the Packers taking tight end Dalton Kincaid. You know, another Travis Kelsey type of tight end. Basically a wide receiver. Help the Green Bay offense. They got 16. Got the Commanders taking offensive tackle Daryl Wright. Yeah, that, that's a that's a good take for them. Good pick. 17, they got the Steelers taking Zay Flowers. Uh, and that's he's going to replace uh, Dante Johnson. You know, I don't know why Steelers draft another wide receiver in the first round. Especially what they got Kenny Pickett. And um, George Pickett, George Pickens, I mean, in the second round last year. That guy, I think he's going to be really good. 18, they got the Lions taking defensive tackle. Uh... Elijah Kennedy, more defense for the Lions. The defense was terrible last year, so they need to upgrade that. 19, they got the Bucks taking defense in. Lucas Van Ness. Uh, 20, you got the Seahawks taking uh, Nolan Smith. Mm, proving their defense. 21, they got the Chargers taking Jordan Addison. <clears throat> 22, they got the Ravens taking corner, Emmanuel Forbes, Forbes, 23, they got Minnesota taking another corner, Joey Porter Jr., or Joey Porter's son from Penn State corner, uh, 24, they got Jacksonville taking tight end Michael Myers, how about their quarterback, uh, 25, they got the Giants taking Dante Banks, cornerback. A lot of corners going in the first round. 26, they got the Cowboys taking Quentin Johnson, wide receiver. 27, they got the Bills taking Trenton Simpson, linebacker. And the Bills need the Bills need a wide receiver, man. The Bills need like some more offense. That sound like they don't. I mean, don't think they do, but I think they do. 28, we got the Bengals taking corner Julius. Uh, Burnett's, I think that can't really see. 29, they got the Saints taking Brian Breeze, defensive tackle. Now, he was a five-star recruit. Like, you know, a couple years ago, he probably would have been a top five pick. But thought to be top five, top ten pick. Uh, 30, they got the Eagles taking his teammate, defense end, Miles Murphy. You know, they looked apart. The you know, I didn't see a lot of production at college, but we'll see. And 31, they got the Kansas City Chiefs taking... Uh, Will McDonald, the fourth outside linebacker. So there you go. That's Bell Kuiper Jr. Time and Shade there. 2023 Mark Draft.